there's two verses I just want to share with, with you all um, that, that are weighing on my heart. It's Jeremiah 29, 11. Um, and it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Uh, and the other verse is Romans 8, 28. And, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Um, so I had plans written out for my life. Um, you know, a notepad, right? I had plans on every page, right, that I'd written. I'd written down, okay, I want to do this. I'm going to do this, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a house, right, maybe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get married. One day I want to have kids. I want to get this job. I want to get this promotion, right? I had my plans written all out, right? And God said, you know what? That's, that's not the plan I have for you, right? And I've seen my plans ripped up and shredded up and wadded up and thrown away, right? And page after page right, that I've written is ripped out, ripped up, wadded up, and thrown away, right? And it's been so hard for me in this time, right, thinking that I have the plans. I wrote it out. I planned it this way, and my plans are not succeeding, right? But I've realized in this time that that we're not to make our own plans, right? Our own plans will fail. And I'm thankful to the Lord that I can now see that He has a plan, right? I don't know what His plan is, right? We might not know what His plan is. We might be in the middle of chaos surrounding us, but internally, the God that created us can live inside of us and we can know there is a plan. There is a hope and there is a future. As the Bible says, Jeremiah 29, 11, God knows the plans he has for us. He has greater plans than us than we could ever imagine. And I, I'm not, I'm not going to write my own pages anymore, right? I'm going to hand the book over and say, Lord, be Lord of my life. Write the plans of my life, right? If I'm in, in, in the middle of, of, of a third world country and I don't know where I am, right? I, I go drop off on the plane and I say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go around and I'm going to tour around, right? I'm going to make the plans. I've never been here. I've never researched it. I'm going to make the plans of what I'm going to do. My plans aren't going to be too great, right? Because I didn't create it. I've never been there, right? I didn't create my own life, right? God did. I didn't create this earth, right? So who am I to write the plans? And that's what I tried to do for so long is to write the plans so they were perfect in my little book, right? But it's not about my book. It's not about your book, right? You may see chaos all around you and pages being ripped out like I've seen and like I've been dealing with, right? But I find hope knowing, right, the pages being ripped out is only to make clean pages, right, so that a new novel, right, can be written and the end of the book can be finished. And God has a plan to give me a hope and me a future, and he has a hope and future for you. No matter what pages you've written in, the book can still be completed his way. And, and I found that, and I hope you can find that if, if you're going through a tough time like I am. In Romans 8, 28, for he makes all things work together for the good of those who love him. Right, that's so hard for me to see in this time of struggle that I am. I, my life has been. I've been blessed beyond measure, right? And then all of a sudden, my world came crashing down, and, and I thought I had it figured out. And then I realized my my life is, my world is 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 destroyed. It's crumbled. It's wadded up. It's thrown in the trash. I'm living. In, I'm in the trash, right? But then I realized, right? Maybe we've written our own story, right? And we're going to continue to write our own story that's going to go like this. Right, when we're supposed to be going this direction. So God may completely rip up our story. Right, he may throw something in that's tough to deal with in the moment. Right, but if we turn around and we look up, we can realize there's a greater plan. And I, I've realized that. I don't know the plan. Um, but I have peace and I'm happy and, and joyful uh, in the Lord after a tough, tough, tough time in my life. And, and I feel for anybody who's dealt with with tragedy and loss and feeling like their plans have been destroyed. And I just want to reach out and say there is hope. There is hope. I'm still in the middle of a pit right now, right? But I'm, I'm climbing out, right? I, I've let God take me out. Um, and the same can happen for you. Um, chaos around you, but it doesn't have to be chaos inside. Um, and I just want to publicly, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to share this. I've been quiet about uh, the situation I've been going through, about the struggles I've been dealing with uh, in my own home uh, and and. I just wanted to be honest with you all. Um, hopefully it can, it can give a glimpse that there's a hope and there's a future um, that I've found. Uh, and it's through the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and, and for so long I've, I've been kind of quiet you know, about it. But it's time that I use my story and my struggle to, to help others. Um, so if, you, if you're struggling in anything, um, I want to walk along beside you in it. Um, and I sincerely mean that. Um, I have all the time in the world 
um, I want to help you. Uh, if you're my Facebook friend, if you're not my Facebook friend, if you're a true friend, if I don't know you as a friend, right, we're all created on this earth uh, to walk and do life together. Um, and, and I sincerely just want to help others. And I wanted to share this message with you. Uh, there is a hope and there is a future and for your life. Um, God has a plan. Uh, even though we can't see it, even though I can't see what the plan is, what the end goal is, I trust knowing there is a plan. Uh, he has a plan for you too. He loves you. Um, and I love you all, all, all my friends. Thank you for being there for me. Um, and I hope to be there for you in a more in-depth and personal way um, and share my faith um, and, and walk, walk in the right direction. God bless. Uh, he has a plan on your life. Thank you.